anger and grief tonight for dozens of families who sent their loved ones to the return to nature funeral home and are now awaiting answers. The investigation into the 115 decomposing bodies found at the Penrose funeral home is ongoing. One family tells 13 investigates the crematory listed on their mother's death certificate claims they did not in fact cremate her body. Investigative reporter Quinn Ritzdorf is live at the El Paso County Coroner's Office tonight after talking with two families about their uncertainty over where their loved ones are. Quinn. Bart, one of those families, 13 Investigates, spoke with lost their mother this summer and they paid Return to Nature to cremate her body. But now they wonder if the ashes they received are actually hers or is she one of the 115 decomposing bodies that were found at the Penrose facility and is now here at the El, Ca El Paso County Coroner's Office waiting to be identified. Uh, at least there's hope for us that we, we could still get closure out of this, especially if, if our mom was found, that, that we'll get closure. But how many of those families will never get closure? Tanya Wilson's mom, Young Anderson, died in June. They used a return to nature funeral home to cremate her body. And when they received the ashes, the family flew to Hawaii to spread them in the ocean. She lived in Hawaii for over 20 years. That was her happiest years. That was her wish. That's where she wanted to be released, not decomposing in some random building. I mean, these people literally snatched that, that away from her. But after 115 bodies were found in the Return to Nature Funeral Home's location in Penrose, they worry the ashes weren't hers. At this point, I think we can only hope that she's there so we can get some closure. Otherwise, I don't think we'll ever know what happened. So they called Wilbert Crematory. The business is listed on her mother's death certificate as the one that cremated her. But they told the family they stopped cremating for Return to Nature eight months before their mother died. So everything kind of points to the idea that our mother was never actually cremated and the ashes that we were given are either someone else's or not even human remains at all. Now Tanya and her family are left waiting for answers. Have that peace just ripped away from you, you know, for all of those families, even from people who have passed away in 2020. And now, you know, this is happening. It just opens up so many questions. Barbara Lee is one of those families. Her husband, Bruce Lee, died in 2020, and she used Return to Nature to cremate his body. So I might be one of the lucky ones that I do have real ashes. But until, you know, Wilbert says, no, we didn't do it, his, we didn't cremate him, or yes, we did, I don't know. I just want this to be, oh, I want them to identify her so we can respect her in the way that she wanted to be respected. We reached out to the owners of Return to Nature Funeral Home about the discrepancy on this cremation certificates, but we have not heard back after multiple requests for comments. Reporting live from the El Paso County Coroner's Office, Quinn Ritzdorf, 13 Investigates.